Your mission is to decode the value of x for this given equation. The logarithm of x to the base 10 plus 3 times the logarithm of 2 to the base 10, which is equal to 3. We are going to look for the value of x following the important processes and properties of logarithms. Now, before we start with that, we notice here that one of the two logarithms has coefficient before it. I'm talking about the 3 logarithm of 2 to the base 10. We actually have an important property which involves something like this. If you have here, let's say, a um, coefficient other than 1, then you have here the logarithm of, let's say, a to the base 10. This is actually equal to, or let me just write it here. This is actually equal to the logarithm of the same uh, coefficient a, but the m now becomes its exponent to the same base b. This is actually one of the properties or theorems for logarithm, which, which involves um, exponential equation or exponential forms as its coefficient. So, or vice versa, you could also do it like that. If you have an expression like this, let's say a to the power of m, you can simply place m as the coefficient of the same logarithm uh, with the same base. So, we could rewrite our given. Let's just first rewrite our given. The logarithm of x to the base 10 plus uh, 3, the logarithm of 2 to the base 10 is equal to 3. Then applying this process, you still have here the logarithm of x to the base 10. And what will happen to your next form is the logarithm of 2 cubed. We made this um, expression as its exponent to the same base 10 equal to 3. And since 2 cubed can be given as an actual value, so you have the logarithm of x to the base 10 here plus the logarithm of 8 to the base 10, which is equal to 3. We did this so that we don't have any other uh, numerical coefficient aside from 1 be, uh, before the logarithms now. Okay? So you can do it like that. The next property or theorem we're going to talk about is the idea when you're adding two logarithms of the same base. If you have the logarithm of a to the base b, and you're also adding another logarithm, let's say logarithm of c to the same base b, you can simply combine them into one logarithm, okay? And you will be copying the same base. And what will happen to the coefficients is you are going to multiply. Again, do not add multiply. This is one, again, of the theorems or properties of our logarithm. This only works, as mentioned, and please duly note that, note this one. This only works if we have the same bases. Here we have 10 and 10, so we can do it like that. So you can just combine them into one. The logarithm of x times, again, it's times 8. This is what will happen under addition to the same base 10 equal to 3. Or you could just, of course, rearrange your terms here. You have logarithm of 8x to the base 10 is equal to 3. Now we have this singular logarithm equal to a value here. We can now move in using this property. If you have the logarithm of a to the base b equal to any coefficient, let's just use y because x has already been used. This can be changed into this equivalent equation. You have the base b, y as the equivalent would be the exponent of b is equal to the coefficient here, a. So these are both equivalent. If y is unknown, then this is exponential equation. But since 3 is known, so we'll have it uh, differently. So we can now write this from here. So you use 10 as your base. The 3 will become the exponent. So it's cubed is equal to 8x. By symmetric property, 8x is equal to 10 cubed, which we know to be 1,000. And then dividing both sides by 8, 1,000 divided by 8, you will get 120 
5. This is now the value of x which will satisfy the given equation. We're able to solve this by acknowledging the properties present in our problem. You have here for the exponent, uh, which is actually taken from the coefficient of a logarithm. We also use here the sum of two logarithms, which is equal to this form, and you are multiplying the coefficients. And from this, you're going to use the transformation to solve for x. We did that here, slowly by slowly, enriching the value of x, which is 125. You may want to uh, verify this by substituting 125 to our unknown, and you will get the same result. And that is mission accomplished.